Koibner phenomenon. So this is basically a development of new lesions. So new lesions where it is along the line of trauma. So new lesions are present in the line of trauma and previously they are previously what we see is they are nothing but the normal skin and the new lesions uh, they have an iso that is same and morphic morphology as the existing lesions now we are looking at the types of coibner phenomenon so the coibner phenomenon has various types so there can be presence of true coibner phenomenon true coibner phenomenon so in case of true coibner phenomenon it is uh, immune mediated conditions present in immune immune mediated conditions is present in immune mediated conditions and example where it is seen it is seen in case of the psoriasis it is seen in case of vitiligo as well as the lichen planus next we are looking at what is false coibner phenomenon so in case of false coibner phenomenon it is in case of the infectious diseases and this can include the viral warts as well as the molluscum contagiosum next what we see is the reverse reverse coibner phenomenon so in case of reverse coibner phenomenon it is present in areas of the psoriasis areas of psoriasis and then what it does it, it clears and heals heals following an injury okay and the example here is psoriasis next to looking at the remote remote reverse a coibner phenomenon so this is nothing but the spontaneous repigmentation repigmentation and this is of the vitiligo and it is of the vitiligo patches and these are distant from the they are distant and this is from the autologous skin graft sites that is nothing but the trauma and as well as the generalized generalized granuloma annular next looking at what it is it is seen in case of the vitiligo so just to brief up what we did we looked at what is uh, coibner phenomenon coibner phenomenon is basically a development of lesion along the line of trauma and we looked at the types so the types it included true it included false the reverse as well as remote and we saw a few examples of it as well as in what kind of diseases it is present